friends and journalists, we are going to start another briefing. We are going to talk whether there is a threat to the Crimean political prisoner, to Gennady Afanasyev, in evaluation of lawyer Alexander Popkov. Alexander Popkov, Gennady Afanasyev lawyer, Gennady Afanasyev, his mother and Mr. Butkevich, um, the uh, representative of the Committee of Solidarity with the Crimean political prisoners. You have the floor, lady and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Alexander Popkov. I'm a lawyer. After Gennady Panasyev uh, actually refused during the court uh, of Alexandrov from his, um, in the information given, the testimonies given to him under the tortures, um, I managed to step in as a representative of the, uh, let's say, human rights protection representative of the Russian uh, Federation uh, Lawyer Corps, and I started to take care of his defense now. Gennady is living through a very, he has a very difficult situation. I believe, I believe that the most vulnerable he is from the point of view of all those people uh, who were involved in the since of related group who were detained and then they were uh, subjected to the criminal persecution, absolutely senseless and uh, inhuman. And uh, what kind of vulnerability we are talking about? Because Gennady became a personal, uh, personal uh, enemy of our uh, system. Because over the last uh, 18 months, they were talking that he he was a leader of this terrorist group, but he actually um, dared enough to, during the court session to decline or to take back his testimonies, which he gave and uh, the torches, despite the fact that the FSB officers visited him in prison and they tried to persuade him that he had to give those testimonies again, he declined them, and the which was followed by a very cruel revenge, and uh, they, they threatened him that they will send him to the polar bears, and he was sent to the uh, extreme north, in the, in the, he is now in the awful, um, uh, let's say, criminal camp, and they continue to uh, get all kind of humiliations um, uh, you apply to him. He, well, actually nobody tortures him or batters him, but he, he is put in a very cruel and um, difficult conditions. It's a very difficult, uh, difficult situation for him. Actually, he, uh, actually, he, he can see in his um, picture he's prepared to anything, including the lethal um, outcome. But he still hopes that Ukraine will help him. He is Ukrainian citizen. He never uh, adopted the Russian citizenship. He never signed any document associated with the Russian citizenship. But um, uh, since uh, I, uh, despite the fact that Russia believes him to be Russian citizen because he crossed the border of the Crimea, this is beyond any kind of the legal um, requirements. We will continue, we'll continue to try to defend him, but Ukraine has to step in and try to liberate him. Despite that he was sentenced only to seven uh, years imprisonment, but he won't um, uh, be out of prison seven years just like that, you know, because they try to try to 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 to, uh, to create all the you know, absolute inhuman conditions for him, trying to um, to put him in some kind of the psych uh, in the mental house or mental prison, or to uh, to 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 make him serve his life life sentence actually. Actually, he was punished several times. Uh, one of the, these punishments was associated with the fact that they found uh, find, found some blade or razors in his pocket. Uh, you can see the one unzip, please, your uh, side pocket. For example, uh, they were during caring time, was uh, several days without any contact with the outside world. You saw what they were um, aligned 
uh, in several of them, and they, 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 they let's say, the over the end of this um, uh, camp, he found the razor, or the blade for the razor, and this is the forbidden subject. Uh, he was actually given six days of um, uh, the strict uh, cell. Then uh, there are others, you know, very, very cruel uh, conditions. For example, if you're late for the physical exercises in the morning, or if he stayed in bed longer than it should be, uh, it, it, it is allowed, you know, etc. He actually gave me several documents and addressed to the President Poroshenko uh, his application to the MFA, to the General Cold's Consulate of Ukraine and the Russian Federation, asking them to help him, help him as a citizen of Ukraine, and also uh, the address uh, to, to, to his friends, to his compatriots, to the people of Ukraine who actually fought for their independence. From the point of view of the legal, a legal point of view, we actually uh, submitted the, uh, the, 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 the uh, appeal uh, claim because there was no um, uh, appeal against the sentence uh, law, uh, lodged. We don't know how the, um, the Supreme Court of the Russian Federation is going, what they are going to do because the prosecutor's office had to do something about that when he refused from to cooperate with the investigation with the investigators and they, they had to do something to prove his uh, being guilty they just they do not do anything they do not want to have some kind of shame uh, shameful procedure they had with Sinsov. they just want him to just to stay and um, uh, and, uh, and to just finish his days behind the bars. And the, 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 the conditions in the camp are very difficult. And the Olga will tell you more. We visited that place. What he asked me to deliver, what kind of message he asked me to deliver, that they are living in very inhuman conditions in, on, on the, in the space of 100 square meters. 90 big guys uh, are now located in uh, 110 square meters, the, those 10, 90, 9, 0, uh, the adult um, males are just walking in the, the, over those 110 square meters without a chance to sleep normally or whatever. This is the situation in Gennady among those uh, finds himself. My name is Olga Afanasyeva and mother of Gennady Afanasyeva. More than um, a month, Gennady was uh, was taken to this camp, to this colony. We started to try and, uh, to find him, and he said that he it was very difficult for him to <clears throat> to survive during this period of time. They they, they did not provide them with the with the food products, or they did not give them some kind of blankets, or the warm clothes and uh, all other immoral and other kinds of pressure was exerted um, uh, on him. Now he actually has been put in the strict conditions of, um, of imprisonment. And he is deprived of the chance to call somebody or to visit. Uh, no, for somebody to visit him, he is absolutely uh, in the uh, isolate, isolate, complete, absolute isolation. And when I asked him whether he can give you some clothes, he said, no, those are uh, trifles. He, you know, he is prepared to everything, that's true. And I would like to, uh, to confirm what Alexander mentioned, that he really hopes that his people and his country will help him. Thank you, Olga. Thank you, Alexander. I'm going to speak Ukrainian. In, in this specific case, I'm participant of the uh, member of the Committee of Solidarity, this initiative to provide support to the uh, Crimean uh, hostages. It was uh, previously Crimean, now it uh, expanded to uh, different regions of Ukraine. It includes different activists 
and we cooperate with our colleagues and um, uh, from the Euromaidan source and Center of the Civil uh, Free Freedoms, the company Let My People Go, etc. And I would like to draw attention to this uh, picture on this on the screen because the support uh, given to to the Crimean hostages, Alexei so Gennady Fanansu, Kovchenko, could be done in different ways, but the most, the easiest, and maybe the most needed is to try to, to establish and maintain contact with them, write them letters and uh, <coughs> leaflets, just to let them know that they are not abandoned, they are not forgotten, and uh, somebody follows what's going on with them. This is very important for their moral and psychological condition. This uh, inspires them and each um, uh, leaflet or each letter is very important to them. And uh, the, a num big number of the letters coming from different places, from different countries, coming to the address of, um, of the same person, demonstrates to the administration of the colony and also to the law enforcement bodies um, of the Russian Federation shows them that the destiny of this specific person is uh, monitored and followed by a lot of people. That's why they have to be more, take more care of such persons, uh, unlike when nobody actually takes any interest in somebody else. Um, because this seemingly gives them the right to do anything they wish with such persons who is not, um, uh, if anybody plays any interest in those. So the, the address of Gennad you can see on the screen, you can send the, the letter to that address. But of course, it's desirable that you write in Russian language because otherwise they will not uh, let this letter um, come to the addressee. But again, again, please do not use such a phrase that Crimea is Ukraine, because in this case, this letter will definitely not find the addressee. So, <clears throat> on our website, on the Committee of Solidarity, UA.info, uh, you can the address, you can just <clears throat> mention who to, and we will send this letter ourselves. But this does not exhaust the possible support given to the Crimean hostages. We can on the permanent basis uh, uh, actually uh, draw attention to them. I understand as a journalist uh, how difficult it might be. We have to do something that for informed private uh, <coughs> continue as, uh, as long as, as, um, uh, as it takes them behind the bars. In his case, it's seven years. In, uh, in, the, his, uh, in other cases, 10 and, and uh, 12 years respectively, so more responsibility should be uh, uh, taken by the, um, the public um, agencies. Uh, specifically, I'm afraid they have to use all the international levers in order to exert pressure on the, <coughs> the authorities of the Russian Federation to return our uh, prisoners, political prisoners, back home. And we understand without the uh, big scale international campaign, we won't be able to achieve an access, but we should not um, should not give up. Uh, the contact which I mentioned at the very beginning is kind of two-way contact. I know that Oleg and Alexander and Gennady, when they can, they uh, will uh, be happy to answer our letters. Some time ago, we uh, managed to get uh, the answers from Sashko Kolchenko, where he told us his point of view was going, was going on in the Crimea, that he was not, he did not surrender, and in those days he was still in the prison of Lefortova. Now we have um, the uh, similar text from Gennady, which is written in Ukrainian. Of course, this is not his uh, uh, mother tongue, but I'm going to read it out the way it was written. I, Gennady Afanasi, was put behind the, um, the uh, bars. I was tortured because of my love for my motherland. And like other participants, um, uh, who, I mean, they faked, uh, faked the cases against the Crimean terrorists, but they became 
they, uh, they you, you know, they became the mocking, uh, mockery. My, I'm recurring and my passport has always been and will continue to be the, you know, the passport of citizen of Ukraine. They tried to persuade me to become the Russian Federation citizen, but I didn't sign any documents. I did not um, uh, abandon my motherland. I, uh, 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 well, uh, uh, I am proud that I'm proud that I managed to 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 refuse their proposal. I understand that a lot of uh, years of uh, difficulties and uh, uh, and hardship is ahead of me. But I I really am thank uh, grateful to all those who tried to help me and my friends. And uh, I hope that the general uh, consulate will do everything possible to return me back to my motherland. Um, never uh, have no fear. Afanasi, Gennady Afanasi. So we received this letter from Gennady, and I believe that uh, no comments are required. You can see behind the lines a person who wrote this letter, who is uh, now in, finds himself in very difficult conditions, who badly needs our support. So I call upon everybody to, to, to support Gennady, Oleg, and Alexander, because uh, if we uh, fail to support them, then who else? Thanks a lot. We have time only for sh two short questions, if any. So please do not forget to introduce yourself. The uh, Black Sea uh, Radio TV company, and Andreevska, my question is to the participants of the press conference. What do you think should be done by the Ukrainian authorities, how they should respond to this situation for us to understand that we did not abandon our citizens in the Russian Federation as the hostages, and whether the international community um, can actually exert any pressure on the government uh, by Russia in order to liberate our um, prisoners, political prisoners. Well, this is a very difficult uh, uh, question. It's very difficult to exert pressure on the authorities in Russia. They do not, they hate shame. Uh, and the international community can include some kind of legal instruments associated with extradition. Uh, the citizen of Ukraine should uh, serve his um, punishment on the territory of Ukraine as a minimum. I know that in the colony where the Kennedy is now, they're going to extradite two more Ukrainian citizens, but they are guilty of some violence crimes. I'm not prepared to answer you this your question because I have to consult with the local lawyers, and we actually have scheduled our meetings in the MFA. Uh, represents some kind of the um, uh, public uh, um, authorities. It's very difficult to understand what Ukraine can do and what they are prepared to do. But this is your citizens, citizen, and you have to protect and defend him. Uh, I would uh, add a few words regarding the international organization today. I had a meeting. Thank you very much for organizing that with the representatives of UN and OSC, and I do hope that with the assistance of the international community, will be able to achieve certain results which we would like to achieve. But again, the public organizations cannot um, exert pressure on the uh, Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine uh, I can only, only help them. Also, I would like to say a few words about the letters. Gennady has a very limited number of um, uh, of the things which are coming to him. Um, actually, over the last six months, I only delivered to him six, and, uh, and provide him with six envelopes. Uh, so please, please uh, include in your letters some empty or. Uh, envelopes. Uh, uh, Crimean um, uh, news. There was a. Uh, there was, declara there was a declaration from Mr. Fadina Jamilov MP that the participants of the blockade, who now blockade the um, uh, Crimea, they can exchange political uh, political prisoners for some of the trucks which can be given a chance to go to the Crimea. Is there, is there a possibility to do that? Did you contact any of the MPs? Can this really help or not? I absolutely don't know anything about this uh, uh, 
uh, declaration or statement, I would actually welcome any kind of a possibility to provide exchange between the different countries. I can say anything uh, more about that. Thanks a lot. This brings us to the end of our uh, briefing because our next briefing will start in two minutes from now. Thanks a lot. And you can, can continue your communication with the journalists just outside of this premises. We are going to have in the 